Hello, welcome to Sandy Ainley. I hope you're okay. Um, I'm very positive in my emotion this afternoon. I'm waiting for my darling brother to visit me at my flat here and to drive me at about five, six o'clock towards an Indian restaurant in Stanmore called the Agra. It's on the hill and it's on the left as one's going towards Bushy. And just to say that it's uh, something which my brother and I almost do as a tradition, um, is eating in our favourite um, Chinese, Indian restaurant, sorry, not Chinese. And uh, I'm a little self-conscious. Um, I have managed to get rid of all my unwanted hair on my face today with a face machine. And I did it a bit too much on the two eyebrows. If you can see just here, I need a bit more on the two ends. It's not a disaster. However, it can, next time I can try not to do that. If you agree or disagree, kindly comment below. I'd like your opinion, if I may. Uh, just as I was doing some vlogging last evening. I'm um, not vlogging, sorry, watching vlogging last evening. And I watched um, a bit of the Ingham family and um, I noticed that they're just, to me, in my opinion, um, trying to be nice human beings who try to work hard and try to do learn hard and wash hard and laugh hard and get sad hard and just the same type of human being as any of us and um i just think that all this business of the inghams that's negative is to stop please because nobody deserves to be criticized constantly um at birth at birth we are all just innocent human beings who deserve the same amount of loving and liking as the next door baby. And one mustn't give more than in more um, favoritism to one, just as one is not to be negative on subject of one. And just to please harmonize and and be in unity and to please be nice to people. If you've got nothing nice to say, please don't say anything. Anyway, that's my opinion. I'm just giving how I look at life. However, we're not all Sandy Ainley, and I'm not saying I'm better or worse than the next door person. I do focus a lot on my conduct towards one another, but then that's just me, and some people may find me the biggest bore that exists. So it just shows that, you know, I'm only giving a suggestion um, of what the manner in which I see the Ingham family. And it's not to hurt anybody or to be, dis to be spiteful towards anybody. It's just my opinion. And I'm entitled to my opinion, just as anybody is allowed to anybody's opinion. And I think I'll close it at that for now on that subject um on a happier subject um i'm being weighed tomorrow and i think i've lost weight again so i'm really excited um maybe even having less of less eyebrows um hair will make me lighter <laughs> very funny ha ha oh sandy's hilarious <laughs> dearing me sorry i'm the probably the only one laughing at my joke and, um, yeah, so I tried to ring my friend today. And my friend was busy and can't talk until tomorrow, so I'm going to call tomorrow. And I really just, just to hear this lady's voice just gives me the joy in the, in, in, in the world. And I really love this lady. Um, I'm not going to elaborate precisely as to who this lady is as a result of the fact that the lady may not so wish for me to do so. I would need to ask first. Um, so, um, one concern I do have 
um, is that um, flogging sometimes I'm a bit not not paranoid in a in a deep sense, however overly cautious perhaps to make everything correct and legal. Uh, for example, making sure I switch the television off before I do a vlog. But I am getting a little bit over the top about it. However, that's my OCD, probably. However, that doesn't mean that I can't try not to be so paranoid on the subject. So it's a matter of finding the balance, isn't it, with everything in life. Um, I don't think someone's going to come knocking at my door saying, you've broken the law, go to prison. Well, at least I hope not. Gosh, I jolly well hope not. I wouldn't like that. Gosh. One person did once say to me, it's nicer in prison than it is in real life because one doesn't have to pay any bills and one just receives heating and hot water, gas, whatever, television free of charge and somewhere to sleep. Not that it's the nicest of places to sleep in a cell, in, on a bunk bed, most probably. Freezing cold, possibly. Oh, dear. So, um... Also, there seems to me to, from just from second-hand information, what, whatever that's supposed to mean, I think it means that I don't know it for sure. Um, well, I don't know it for sure, so it does mean that. That um, people, some people get abused in um, prison. They're, they're hurting each other and bullying each other and clonking each other, as in hitting each other. That sounds very nice, gosh, just on top of all my, con each concern, I have that concern also, my goodness me. Thank goodness doesn't seem to be the case for me. Thank you. So I'm getting hot, I'm just gonna place the um, fan on. So I'm just, um, I've, I, I've been up since five o'clock this morning. It's now, um, oh gosh, where's my phone? Here is my telephone. 3.53 in the afternoon, and I started at about five o'clock. So that's, say, say, let's say for argument's sake, please, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three. That's 11, about just under 11 hours, approximately 11 hours. I have been busy and on the go. And then I just thought, well, I've got a bit of time before Elliot, my brother, arrives, so I'll record something just to say hello to whoever's watching me and just to say that I've got over everything that was bothering me in the last vlog before this one and you, you lose one, you lose some, you win some, you win some, you lose some and that's just life. One goes on and already my mother I think has found somebody for me to, her, to take the place of the other lady so it's nice. Variety is the spice of life. And I like change and I need change. And I love change. So it's, it just makes life more interesting for me, personally. Uh, okay, well, thank you again. Please take lots of care. And please look after each other. And please take care again. Shalom, which is Hebrew for hello, peace. Goodbye.